What's up everybody, this is James Aldridge here and today I'm going to do a very quick tutorial and show you how you can change a off white or off color uh, background and make it pure white. So here I have a headshot of my friend Nicola uh, who came in for some headshots for some castings that she was going in for and whenever I shoot headshots I tend to shoot them 95% of the time on a white backdrop. I normally use a um, one single speed light and I fire it on the background normally place it directly behind the model's head facing upwards and you can see that it's filled pretty much most of this image with white light however it's not 100% pure white and you can see behind the model's hair here on this uh, right hand side and around here slightly you can see just a tiny bit of shadow a little bit of cast off and a little bit of drop off from where the light hasn't reached fully so what I'm going to show you to do is I'm going to turn this image into this image it's not that noticeable but noticeable enough that when you come to print your images that you will see a big big difference this image here looks very muddy and it looks a little bit mid grayish Whereas this image is pure white, there's 100% pure white in all these areas and overall it feels a lot brighter, it feels a lot cheerier and it feels a lot more cleaner to me. So I'm going to show you how to do this and what we want to do is be using uh, an adjustment brush. You can select it with this icon up here or you can press the K button to select it and what we'll do is to show you the effect of what we're doing we're going to press O to show you the actual paint that or not it's not the paint but this is a mask that shows you where this adjustment brush is actually going and what you can do is you can run around the edge of the portrait with this brush not really worrying too much about the edges as such and you can come in on this side and do it on this side now the problem when you're doing this adjustment especially on a portrait with hair you can see here that there's lots of spill there's bleeding over into the image that when we take this mask off the white is actually affecting the hair as well as the backdrop and we don't want this because in my opinion it's making the image look soft and it kind of giving her um, the angel halo effect where a backlight is either too strong or it just makes it look like the light is bouncing too much off the background so we can put the mask back on and you can go through this way and doing it this way you can go in and you can delete uh, let's bring the opacity up on the floor. You can delete the parts that have overspilt into the image by some margin, and you can do it that way. Now, this is a very, in my opinion, time consuming process because if you want to be really uh, anal about this you can you can go in strand by strand and color or erase hair by hair it's never perfect and it looks very very strange if you don't do it perfect now we're gonna delete this and I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way of doing this so if you go delete and we're gonna grab uh, we've already got it selected the adjustment brush we've got it set up about two stops plus um, I'll show you a quick way of checking how to make sure that this image is pure white in a minute but this quick method is just down here where you select the brushes you've got a button here that says auto mask select it and we're going to make this brush really big paint in just at the top corner just to get a base of what you're doing now watch what happens when I do it this time I'm running the length of the portrait and this brush isn't going over the edges of the hair There's, it's picking up a few it's getting rid of a, a few here and there but it, in the whole of it it's actually detecting where the edges of the hair are and it's making the selection process a lot lot simpler 
we can do it really big on this side and we can paint it really quickly again I tend to use a soft edge brush brush for this stuff uh, mainly because uh, the center of a brush is normally the strongest and the edges of it are the softer parts which you want near enough the edge of the brush or near enough the edge of the hair so we're going to go over here we're just going to do this part as well computer is running a little bit slower than usual mainly because I'm running uh, this uh, recording uh, program to record this video so apologies on that front but there you have uh, a selection and if we take this mask off by pressing O again we can see that it's basically highlighted the background which we wanted and it's gone in in all the nooks and crannies and highlighted the background in those places However, in my opinion, this kind of looks a bit silly because it looks very much like a cardboard cutout and we don't want this look. So we're gonna do the same thing we did before. If I zoom out, we're gonna deselect auto mask and we're gonna press the erase button. And again, with a really soft brush, we're gonna probably bring this in about that size. Flow can be, 100% and you just want to go around the edges again taking out the little bits that throw up to make it look like we've cut this out with a really pet or really blunt pair of scissors so we bring the detail back in where it's gone a little bit over the top in my opinion making it look natural and uh, simplistic is where, what we want to go for we don't want to make it too bright and we don't want to make it too obvious that we've done this but it's a lot easier to do it this way than the other way because you have a bit more time on your hands at the end of it where you don't have to worry about um, you know having to manually going and edit out the bits that's missed now I've gone a little bit too strong I think up on this part but I'm gonna go and reduce it a tiny bit more. And if we want to, we can bring this back on just to get a tiny bit more of an edge to that hair up there. So we go there. Let's see, this looks a whole lot neater and tidier. I will probably do this bit up here because it looks a little bit dark to my like liking, but there we go. Um, so there we've had the adjustment made so one way to check to see if this is pure white and 100% white there's no detail whatsoever is by pressing the J key this brings up a highlight clipping mask and you can tell whether or not your highlights or your shadows are going to be clipped by pressing one of these two buttons up in this corner this does the same thing you come over to this side it will show you your highlights are clipped if you go in on this side if anything on this image was pure black no detail whatsoever it would show up in blue but we're more worried about the highlights for this shot so you can see there's parts of this image that aren't pure white so either you just missed it with the brush first time around so just go back in and fill in these details if there are parts of the image that aren't uh, going red uh, what we can do is we can actually just move this slider up a tiny bit more to make it 100% pure white it's not going to make the whites that are already pure white any whiter because as soon as you hit 100% white you cannot go anymore so if I want to deselect this just press the J key again and I think that there is a better image than what we first started off with where it was um can i take this off yes i can if i press down here i can turn the mask feature off and on so you can see this was before this is after and i think this here looks a whole lot better than the muddy off white background that we started with so i think that will conclude this tutorial i hope this is of some help um, if you have any questions or um, queries then please feel free to drop me a message or put some comments in the comment section 
and if you feel like it please hit the subscribe button i plan on updating this youtube channel and my website with um weekly uh hopefully weekly tutorial videos um, i'm going to be doing a lot more sharing my tips my tricks and my workflows on how to retouch images how i go about uh, organizing my workflows and things of that nature so please hit the subscribe button it would do me a great honor if you did and i shall leave it there thank you very much goodbye